oh, the Republicans and Democrats are trying to reach a deal, or they have been in the past, to, to cut $4 trillion uh, from the deficit over 10 years, right? So President Obama says now he wants 1.6 of that to come from taxes. We know that's probably unrealistic and not going to happen. Last year, he asked for $800 billion. Regardless, whatever, let's say it's a trillion. That means that Congress needs to find $3 trillion in cuts over 10 years. Now, Matt, your numbers... Um, are, are, are eye-opening. Now, first of all, they're for one year, right? Exactly. So these are over one-year periods. Now, you extrapolate some of these over 10 years, and you see how do we start adding up to $3 trillion. And I just want to, to, to put this in play for you because here's what you're going to hear, and I heard it this morning. You'll hear congressmen say, what we can do is talk about adjusting uh, Social Security for inflation, adjust these kind of measurements. And what you're talking about there is making a $300 billion dent in that $3 trillion goal over 10 years. The point I'm making is you could do all of these things, a lot of these things from Social Security and Medicare, you're going to have a hard time getting to the goal. And, and, and Will, this, this, is, this is rearranging the, the chairs on the top of the Titanic, isn't it? I mean, we're not talking no, about look, serious deficit look, reduction. We're we still just, not talking about it. I'm, I'm going to be the cynical one again. Because look what we've seen, this entire fight. We have Democrats today saying, yep, we'll go over the fiscal cliff. If, if Republicans won't agree to these tax increases on the rich, we <coughs> will go over the fiscal cliff, and we're happy to do it because they see the polling. Well, Chuck Schumer, I have to tell you, but Chuck Schumer came out today, told reporters, or Wednesday, I should say, to avoid the fiscal cliff, we must increase tax rates on families earning more than 250000 right. I want to hear must. your cynicism. That 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 Senator point. Murray from Washington State said she's happy to go over the fiscal cliff. Right, and, there's, and the New York Times reported today that there's a growing consensus among Capitol Hill Democrats that they are willing to go over the fiscal cliff because the polls show that if we do that, people will blame Republicans. So it's a win-win <laughs> for the Democrats, as always, as it seems like it has been today. Yeah. But let's keep in mind that this massive fight that we're having over is for these these tax increases that even if they bring in every penny of revenue that they say it will it's like eighty billion dollars a year two months of government spending it's like two months of government yeah. spending it, is what they actually i'm sorry no that would be no, if they no, took no. every single dollar made by the one percent you're talking about even less than you yeah, know i'm talking about one week of federal spending is what this would cover one week and this is what this huge fights over we are not serious and feelings are the new facts facts don't matter and i mean the whole thing is oh well we're going to reform entitlements really in the next two months we're going to do something that we haven't been able to do for decades we're under the gun no yeah. so matt i have a question on the growth side of this now actually with obamacare there could be some uh, room in here to get some savings that uh, subsidy that you're talking about are for people who make four times the poverty level mm -hmm. so families of ninety thousand dollars a year or more and i think a lot of people can look at that and say i think that's a little bit high so there may be a little bit of savings in there that can be a Agreed on. But I'm, I want to ask about the growth side of things. When Mitt Romney was campaigning, he said that his tax plan would increase, you know, uh, increase the economy, therefore collect more taxes. Is, could that put a dent in the deficit, or is that also sort of pie in the sky? That's a great point. That's what a GOP uh, and the Democrats do not agree. The Democrats believe that if you raise taxes, it does increase revenue over time. I, I, I like to take the other side, where the GOP is saying, well, if you actually cut taxes, it increases revenue over time but is that because even it spurs on growth. No, it's not enough. I mean, we can talk about the taxes all we want, raising them, lowering them. Will that bring in more revenue? But as Will mentioned, the number's so large, we can increase the revenue. It comes down to spending. We need to cut spending. And the CBO also came out and said over the next eight years, what the government spends on entitlement programs, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, Obamacare, welfare, it will consume 17% of the economy. It only consumes 12% now. That's an enormous increase in eight years. So we're not, if we just stay where we are, we're spending 5% more. That's yeah. mind-blowing. Hasn't this been kind of settled, though, by the election? No, no one's going to touch entitlements. I mean, the Republicans couldn't even win pretending that then they we were go on bankrupt. board with entitlements. I mean, eventually, no, I mean, at some point, the, the, the issue here, and I think this is what, what Guy raises, is that even if you raise taxes the way Democrats say they want to, that's not going to touch any of the actual no. deficit. I mean, and probably not even going to... No, that money, wanna, that money's not even going to go to paying down the deficit. So what comes after that? More taxes. The middle class is going to get squeezed. They're getting squeezed, by the way, by yeah. Obamacare, but their taxes are going up too. This whole thing was a dodge. It was a ruse. This class warfare stuff. The Democrats want to tax so what do you everybody do? more. What do you do? Everybody's taxes are going up. That is actually the plan. Can I just point out that when we talk about these tax hikes to pay down the deficit, they have no intention of paying down the deficit. Also they, true. They are saying we're going to spend more. If you look at President Obama's last budget that he put out, that got zero votes, by the way, uh, but he, this was the president's plan. It put all of these tax increases, every little stupid tax increase, the, the jets, the corporate jets, the, the Buffett rule, all this stuff rolled into one budget. Despite having all those tax increases, it still would add $9 trillion 
to the gross national debt over the next decade. Because they're going to spend so that's way, Obama's, way more. that's Obama's wish list is that's adding exactly, $9 trillion. Like correct. his budget wish list is adding $9 trillion. With, if, with all of his tax hikes in place, so guys, it still raises it by that Let much. me ask you.